Hello and welcome to this Darktable tutorial series. I'm Rendon Ricks with TJ Free, and in this tutorial series we'll learn how to manage and edit photos using Darktable. Darktable is a great professional program for working with uh, photographs. If you're a photographer, if you shoot with a DSLR camera, especially if you shoot in RAW, or even drone footage can be shot in RAW, a lot of um, smartphones can shoot in RAW these days. If you work with RAW, you're really going to want to use um, Darktable. And it kind of does a lot of the same things that people often go to Photoshop or GIMP for, but it does a much, much better job than those programs do. It gives you so much more control over your lighting, over the colors, and over just really the look and feel of your photographs. Also, it has much, much better management tools. And if you're ever working with multiple pictures at once, like trying to apply a watermark on hundreds or thousands of pictures at once, it's a great tool for that. If you're ed editing the metadata uh, of the picture, if you want to apply the same thing over and over again, like rotate and zoom in and adjust colors, but do it to like a dozen photos at once, you don't need to go through and do it individually. You can just use this software to do all of that. It's kind of similar to Adobe Lightroom. In fact, it's very similar to Adobe Lightroom. And even a lot of professionals choose, have kind of went away from Lightroom and they're using Darktable as their main um, workhorse because it's just so professional and such an amazing piece of software. So it's not one of those free programs that's just like a limited free and it's gonna make you try to pay for more features in the future. This is the real deal, fully professional. It just happens to be open source and free. So it's a project owned by the community for the community. This is the software you need to be using if you are a photographer of any kind or if you work with photos a lot. Um, in this tutorial series, we're gonna learn how to use the interface. We're gonna dive in and learn how to use the different modules, different uh, color correcting and filters and all of the cool things we can do. We'll learn how to do the batch editing, how to import and export our pictures, and we'll just learn how Darktable functions. Um, what this is not gonna be is a deep, uh, a way to learn how to use the individual modules. You could spend years, and you probably should spend years getting experience doing that. That's something I haven't personally done, and I just won't be able to offer that. So once we cover the basics in this series, I hope you'll go out and find a lot of tutorials that are uh, out there on the web, and including on YouTube. You can check out more uh, specialized features of how to do a certain type of um, enhancement. So that's kind of outside the scope of this series. Just know that we're going to learn the basics, and we'll probably stop there. One more thing before I close this video, I just want to talk about when to use Darktable as opposed to uh, Photoshop or GIMP or Krita or some of these other ones. So Photoshop's going to be, I mean, uh, Darktable is going to be really good if you're working with just photos. So when people do photo enhancements, you're adjusting lighting, you're adjusting the size or the crop or the frame of the image, anything like that is going to be great for improving skin tone or bringing out certain colors or adjusting parts, um, you know, bringing shadows um, into the light or adjusting your lighting. This is what you want to do in Darktable. If you want to do Photoshop and maybe like edit out blemishes on the skin, you can do some of that stuff in Darktable too, but that's something more suited for um, uh, GIMP and Photoshop, or maybe compositing multiple pictures on top of each other, working with text or creating any kind of like brochures, things like that, you're gonna to wanna to use um, Photoshop and GIMP for that. And if you're creating art from scratch, like you have a, a drawing pad, or maybe you want to, um, yeah, draw with a mouse and draw circles and, and create objects, then you're going to want to look into something more like Krita, even Inkscape, and Photoshop and GIMP can do some of that stuff too. So that's just sort of where this program falls. It's a very good first step if you're working with an actual real photo. If you're working with digital art, look into more like Krita, GIMP, Photoshop for those kinds of things. Well, I'm glad you found this tutorial series. Check out some of my other videos learning about open source software if you're not that familiar with it. But uh, dive right in. We're going to learn how to install Darktable on your computer. It runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So we'll get it installed, and then we're going to dive right into learning how to use it. Thanks for watching.